upset of the year. For me, this one got interesting, but to me, it's got to be Hector Garcia um, completely dominating um, Chris Colbert. And Chris Colbert was a very highly regarded prospect at 130. And some people even said he was the best guy at 130. I didn't say that. I said Shakur was, but he, he was, some people were saying he was even better than Shakur Stevenson. And he dominated him and dropped him and took control of that fight. And if you had just watched that fight for the last two rounds, you would think that Colbert was winning the fight and he was just, you know, trying to buy time and, you know, run around the ring because he had to fight in the bag. But he was fighting like a guy who had an eight-round lead and really he was down in the fight. So it was a little bit disappointing from that angle, especially when you're a guy like Colbert who was kind of like talked all this game and like, you know, bragging dosho and like built yourself up and then you go out like that. But for me, that's the upset of the year. I know Bivol B. Canelo, that was an upset as well. But – you know, I, I know on um, the cruiserweight, Apatia beat up, uh, beat uh, Breda, but for for me, those aren't comparable to this one. This this was upset of the year, uh, without a doubt. Uh, and then he got himself a big fight with Javante Davis. Obviously, he lost and got knocked out, but still, he got himself a big fight, Hector Garcia. So you got to give him that. He, he had the upset of the year. He was game. He came ready, and I think he was a filling opponent. I don't think he was Colbert's original opponent for that fight. So that was definitely uh, interesting.